It's surpassing 100,000 cases. And President Trump's campaign staff, two more members, testing positive following his rally in Tulsa. Coronavirus now spreading at an alarming rate across the U.S. More than 120,000 American lives lost. A dozen states reporting record numbers tonight. Hospital workers overwhelmed in California and Arizona. Florida and that grim milestone, more than half of new cases are under 35. Tonight, Miami's mayor making masks in public mandatory. Arizona setting up tents to handle the overflow of patients. And in Texas, the governor now urging everyone to wear a mask. Meantime, after the president's rally in Tulsa, those three today, after a noose was found hanging in Bubba Wallace's garage stall at Talladega. Tonight, the FBI now involved. Wallace has extra security. And authorities now say there are cameras. Other drivers and pit crew members walking beside and behind his car to the front of the field today. All of this after Wallace encouraged that move by NASCAR to ban the Confederate flag at NASCAR events. We have breaking news as we come on the air tonight. Muir. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here as we start another week together. And we begin tonight with the alarming news on the coronavirus here in the U.S. Cases rising in at least 23 states. Florida now surpassing 100,000 cases. In Texas, the governor there saying the rate of increase is unacceptable. Houston's mayor tonight saying we are moving very fast in the wrong direction. Around the world tonight, a record number of cases in the last 24 hours, more than 9 million cases worldwide now, nearly half a million deaths. One-fifth of those cases right here in the United States. More than 120,000 American lives lost now. And fears tonight Florida will be the next epicenter, that new milestone. And tonight Miami's mayor, for one, saying masks are now mandatory in public. Texas setting hospitalization records 10 days in a row now. In Arizona tonight, 84% of the state's ICU beds now have COVID patients. ABC's Matt Guppin leads us off from Yuma, Arizona, where the president is headed tomorrow. Tonight, with more than 120,000 American lives already lost to the coronavirus, respiratory therapist Christina Santana is desperate not to lose more. I've never seen anything like this. Seeing people die, seeing people suffer, seeing people, you know, just having a hard time breathing. Tonight, 12 states hitting records no one wants. Their highest levels ever of coronavirus. In all, the virus rising in 23 states and Puerto Rico. Florida today topping 100,000 cases. Experts warning it could become the next epicenter. More than half of the new cases there, people under 35. And the point of infection for many, so similar. The sick individuals have all stated that uh, they've been around a pub, a bar, uh, an event uh, during the holiday weekend, those types of activities. They, they, when we call them, they're freely admitting that. And they say, yeah, my, my friend was at the same pool party. My friend was at the same bar. Florida, one of the last states to lock down and one of the first to reopen. Today, finally urging everyone to wear masks when social distancing is impossible. This is a real spike. This is a real trajectory. The battle over masks playing out in towns across the country. Officers in California escorting a father and his children out of a Walmart after police say he refused to wear a mask. The governor of Texas, who has pushed hard for reopening, today pushing masks. I know that some people feel that wearing a mask is inconvenient or that it is like an infringement of freedom. But I also know that wearing a mask will help us to keep Texas open. The state's infection rate doubling along with hospitalizations, now 3,200 a day. The mayor of Houston now worried. We are moving very fast in the wrong direction. And about two months after the virus ravaged New York, signs of hope. The city reopening barber shops and salons. Arizona also notching a record number of hospitalizations. Tents set up outside this Phoenix Medical Center. And nearly four months after volunteers raced to help on the front lines in New York, Yuma's only hospital now calling for every available nurse in the region and for volunteers. What happens if this surge, which we're in right now, gets worse and you have more patients? So we're also looking at other areas within the state of Arizona or even within the nation that we can bring in other resources of nurses. 50-year-old Garrett Craig says he was the first COVID patient to make it off a ventilator alive at this Arizona hospital. His 30-year-old son hospitalized with him. I was still going out, wasn't worried about anything. I made it a joke, to be honest. Father and son now warning others not to take this virus lightly. Social distancing is important. 
wear a mask. It's a miracle that, that we're both here and we survive. And David, public health officials tell us that parts of Arizona are in their peak right now, and that means there is a surge of people hoping to get tested. In Phoenix, over the weekend, people waited in triple-digit heat for up to 13 hours for a COVID test. David, 13 hours. All right, Matt Guffin has been covering this pandemic from the start. Thank you, Matt. Late today, we learned two more.